makes you nervous. Just keep it all up. Don't go to the bathroom. Yes. No. Makes me nervous too. No. Um, all right, down Florida. Let's talk about the weather because uh, we are starting off with temperatures warm again. It's been the same pattern the past few days, and the weather pattern isn't going to change. I'll explain why in a few minutes. But first, looking at current temperatures right now, 72 degrees Fort Lauderdale, Miami, 68 in Kendall. That's a cool spot in the low 70s down in the Keys. Now, even though we do see upper 60s out there, all these temperatures all across the board are above the average because we should be dropping into the low 60s. In fact, the normal low this time of year for Miami should be 60, 60 degrees. Winds out of the east and northeast, anywhere between 6 to up to 13 miles per hour right now. It's still breezy, especially right along the coast and over the ocean, and that's helping to produce some showers. We're already seeing a few, and through the rest of the morning, we do expect a passing showers. Then as we head into the early afternoon hours, uh, the shower activity will dwindle and will stay with a mix of clouds and sun. Here's a look at the radar. So right now seeing rain moving into Davie, Cooper City, down into Pembroke Pines. And then in northern Miami-Dade, a lot of action going on. Some light rainfall from Surfside to North Miami, Opelika. And then it gets heavier for Medley. But this is tracking out west over the turnpike right now. So in the next 15 minutes, Medley, you should see drier conditions. A few showers over Biscayne Bay, some lighter ones uh, moving into southern Miami-Dade County as well. And they're all tracking towards the west along that strong easterly breeze. Elsewhere in the nation, a lot of action going on. In fact, there's basically a boundary cutting through the mid-Atlantic Ohio Valley back down into the southwest. And along this boundary, there are a couple of these shortways, these low pressure systems that are developing. Therefore, uh, we are seeing a lot of action, a lot of precipitation going on. But there's also strong cold air being pushed in from the north, and that is producing wintering mix but the big story for the central u.s is the ice storm we've had ice and you can see there's still ice going on in parts of missouri into the mid-atlantic but ice will form yet again for the central u.s today through tomorrow back here at home breezy conditions will continue showers are possible again tonight into tomorrow morning but keep in mind the shower activity for this morning will end by noon and then we'll stay with sun and clouds through the rest of the afternoon hours if you head out to the beach today, there's also <coughs> that high rip current risk, so be careful out there. Temperatures will stay in the upper 70s for those daytime highs. Top. That's right. And I'm the only person who knows. And right now, what I do know, it's not really in Fort Lauderdale, obviously. It did earlier, uh, but those showers quickly moved on into West Broward. Meanwhile, Miami-Dade, yes, we're seeing rain out in Miami Beach, but also in downtown Miami, right over I-95, Wynwood. And this is starting to move a little more west, so parts of Coral Gables and eventually into Miami International Airport. We'll start to see some rain between the next 5 to 15 minutes. It's a quick mover as we continue on with an easterly breeze. Also, a few light showers lining up on the coastal area of Biscayne Bay in Miami-Dade County. Cutler Bay, you're starting to see some rain as we speak. And a few showers near and around the lower keys, but so far, most of these have been stay staying to the south. Okay, so for the rest of the morning, we're expecting temperatures to remain in the 70s. Uh, meanwhile, those clouds and showers will continue to roll on shore through the rest of the morning, but by early afternoon, we'll see drier conditions. Nikki? Also up with uh, showers out there and uh, lots of cloud cover this morning. Now, the shower activity has been overnight, still lingering on. We do have some raindrops on the lens uh, right over uh, Miami, uh, downtown Miami, Brickell and Brickell Key, but most of the heavy rain or that heavy shower that rolled through these, these areas are now quickly tracking towards the west further inland in Miami-Dade County. Also for Broward, there's been rain as well. Now this batch of showers finally exiting the city areas of Broward County into the Everglades, so it's pushing just west of, I, of uh, U.S. 27. Meanwhile, Miami Springs, Miami International Airport, even up to Hialeah, and still over parts of Wynwood dealing with rain. But again, the showers are tracking towards the west, so areas out east are going to start seeing drier conditions, while out west, like Doral, you'll start seeing the rain coming in in the next 15 minutes. Kendall, all the way down into the Redland area with spotty showers as well, including some light drizzle in Cutler Bay. A couple more showers offshore expected to roll onshore through the rest of the morning. Meanwhile, it's 72.
82 degrees in Fort Lauderdale and Miami. 68 in Kendall, that's the cool spot, but still above the average for this time of year. We should be dropping into the low 60s for those morning lows. Now, since the, the sun is up, the only way these temperatures are going to go is up. So 78 degrees by 1 p.m. Our highs staying in the upper 70s for today. Along with those breezy conditions, as far as the shower activity, that is ending by the early afternoon hours. But then tonight into tomorrow morning, and we'll see those rounds of showers develop once again. As I mentioned, highs are in the upper 70s. We'll hit 79 degrees by 2 p.m. And speaking of that breeze, that strong onshore flow is keeping the rip current risk high. So beachgoers keep that in mind. And small craft operators exercise with caution. The winds at 15 knots over the ocean could go up to 20 knots at times. Seas, 4 to 6 feet. Our temperatures for the daytime will remain in those upper 70s the next couple of days. I don't personally know her, but my, my friend, Bethany, giving her a shout out, she knows Kristen. And uh, that's really cool. Congratulations to her. All right, Mount Sinai Medical Center Tower Cam. You can see if you look closely, it looks kind of gray out west. Well, that's because we're still seeing showers moving in West Miami-Dade and in Doral as we speak at the moment. But we do expect uh, more showers to still roll on shore because of that strong easterly breeze. Southwest Miami-Dade, you are also seeing a few raindrops. Now, yeah, he, he may have some added extra pounds, but he has energy. He can move. Uh, all right, Frankie, you're a cutie, and he's very sweet. So go to the Humane Society of Broward and uh, adopt Frankie. Also, uh, I'm starting off with the radar because, we're, again, we're starting to see some round of showers. Zooming first into Broward County, most of the showers that were earlier impacting the west areas have pushed away into the Everglades. But now we're getting a few more spotty showers. They're moving east to west along that strong easterly wind, which, by the way, is up at, at around 20 miles per hour in Fort Lauderdale. Over Miami International Airport, there's one shower there. It's uh, really light, actually. Uh, should be moving towards west in the next 10 minutes. Another trail of showers lining up towards the lower portion of Biscayne Bay. Temperatures are already warming up to 75 degrees in Miami, 73 in Fort Lauderdale. Elsewhere, similar temperatures across the board in the low 70s. This is starting off the morning. Above average, lows only stayed in the low 70s this morning, except for Kendall in the upper 60s. But still, notice the lows for Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and Key West. Basically, in general, across uh, South Florida, we should drop into the lower 60s. Meanwhile, daytime highs and normal temperature in the mid-70s, or at least 76 degrees for Fort Lauderdale, Miami. We're going to warm up above those temperatures as well for the daytime highs. Also, from the East Coast back out into the Central Plains and into the desert southwest, there is a boundary, and now on that boundary, low pressure systems keep on forming. With cold air being pulled in down south and clashing with moisture out of the south and warm air, it is changing from rain to ice right now, and the core of the ice storms will remain over the central U.S. This is day two. This will continue into Sunday, becoming really heavy tonight, Sunday morning. Heavy snow also for the rock is expected tomorrow, but for us here in South Florida, we're staying well to the south of these fronts. Uh, we will continue with breezy conditions. Round of showers again tonight into Sunday morning. Highs today, 79 degrees. Temperatures will stay in those upper 70s for the upcoming uh, week and then back into the 80s by middle, middle of the week with a lot of sunshine by then. Right, Todd and Nikki, and uh, by the rest of the country, meaning uh, some w major winter storms, including that dangerous ice storm and that continues to pound parts of the central U.S. I'll get to all of that in the next couple of minutes, but I have to talk about here in South Florida because it's our weekend. Good morning and happy Saturday. Lots of cloud cover rolling from east to west over parts of Miami with some light drizzle out there. We did have some heavier rainfall over Miami, and we did have some showers over Fort Lauderdale. Now the skies look like they're opening up again. Already warming up to the mid-70s, and guess what? Upper 70s already, Hialeah and Marathon at 77, 78 degrees right now. Winds are up 15 miles per hour in Fort Lauderdale, 16 in Homestead, straight out of the east, and along that breeze, these showers are tracking quickly towards the west. Zooming into Broward County, if you're in Pompano Beach and on westward, you will be dealing with some light showers, and also in southern Miami-Dade from Cutler Bay to Homestead. For the rest of today, showers will eventually come to an end by this afternoon as temperatures warm up to the upper 70s throughout the rest of South Florida.